What's up guys, Devin here from Dignited. Today I want to show you my top Chromebook keyboard shortcuts that can speed up your workflow. All right, let's get into it. All right, to start things off, let's start with how to turn on caps lock on your Chromebook. Chromebook keyboards don't come with a caps lock key like Mac or PCs, all right? So to turn on caps lock, all you have to do is to press the search button, which is this button with a little circle here, and then the Alt key together. This should be able to turn on caps lock and you should see that caps lock has come on right here. And then you can type whatever you want to type in caps lock. And then to switch it off, you can do the same thing, the search and Alt at once, okay? and that turns off caps lock. Of course, you can also temporarily do that by simply pressing shift and then the keys right here. Okay, that temporarily turns on caps lock, just like in Windows and Mac. The next keyboard shortcut is how to activate the app launcher. So app launcher is the equivalent of the Windows key on Windows PCs and that is by pressing the search button here. So once you press it, you have your list of apps here and then you can quickly just search on the web or your file system for whatever apps and files that you're looking for. So it's as simple as that. All right. Also, you can use this to activate the Google Assistant right there. Okay. The next keyboard shortcut is card copy and paste. So obviously every computer operating system should have this. And as you would expect, card copy and paste work exactly the way that you're used to in Mac or Windows and cut is control X all right that cuts it and then control C is going to copy and then control V is going to paste yes it works exactly the same and to select everything control A right there selects all the text at once all right and then the other shortcut that I want to share with you is how to save. Again, as you'd expect, it's Control S right there. That brings up a window where you can save your file. All right. And also one of the lifesaver shortcuts is how to undo and redo the last action. And again, here you can just do Control Z. That undoes whatever you did. And to redo the last action, it's Control Shift Z, just like that. So this works exactly the way that you'd expect in Windows and Mac and also on Chromebook. All right, the other shortcuts that I want to share with you is how to preview a file in the Files app. So let's say I have a file here, okay? And to preview it, you just simply press the space button like that. So that previews the file. That could be an image, a PDF, a document, or whatever. So that's really, really quick. And then the other shortcut that is extremely useful and very specific to Chromebooks is how to take a screenshot. So what you want to do is press the Control and Window key. So that's Control Window key. So this is the, I think the window key right here that takes a screenshot. But if you want more control, specifically to take a screencast or screen recording, and you want to press Control Alt and then the window key right there. So it brings you this menu where you can choose between taking a screenshot or taking a screen recording or a screencast. And you have these options where you can select the whole screen or a specific area of the screen and then you simply press record and it does the screen recording really really useful i probably should do that now okay just for the purposes of this demo and there you go now i'm doing a screen recording of my chromebook all right the next thing that i want to share with you guys is how to open a new tab and that is usually useful when you have for example a chrome browser here open and you just want to open a new tab the shortcut for that is ctrl t right there that opens a new tab real quick i love that shortcut and then the other thing that i want to share with you guys is how you can open a new window say you're working on this specific window and you want a new one the way that you do that is ctrl n let's do that in the files app window here Control n opens up a new window now you can't open a new tab in the files app unfortunately that doesn't work 
All right, the next thing that I want to share with you is how to minimize and maximize a window. Again, that is one of the very common things that you will be able to do. So instead of reaching out to this icon here to minimize, you could actually just simply press Alt and then the minus key here. Yes, and to restore, just do it exactly the same. And to maximize, press Alt and then the equal sign or the plus sign that maximizes it and then that restores it to the previous size. All right, the other shortcut is how to show all workspace windows, also known as the overview mode. So you just want to see all the windows that you've opened, all the applications that you're currently working on. And the way you do that is press this little window here with two vertical lines, all right? So here you can see all the windows that are open and you can quickly go and close whatever you want. Yeah, so I find that extremely convenient. And you could also use gestures here. And what you do is use your three fingers and then swipe them up like this. Yeah, that does exactly the same thing. Okay, let's move on to the next keyboard shortcut that I want to share with you. And that is how to open the task manager. So this can be useful if you want to maybe just see the processes that are eating up your resources. And the way you do that is by pressing search, skip, right there and you can see all the processes or applications open and their resource usage in terms of cpu network and memory footprint right so you can use this to quickly close an application or end a process and free up resources next let's talk about how to lock your screen so maybe you're working out for a cup of coffee or something just press search and then l Okay, you can see that locks my Chromebook real quick. Since it's paired with my Android phone, I'm just going to press enter, no need of entering the password again. The next is how to suspend the Chromebook. And the way that you do that is simply press shift search L. That's exactly that, suspends the Chromebook. Okay, and then we can also talk about how to hard reboot your Chromebook. Maybe your Chromebook is frozen or something and uh, it's not really working. The best thing that you can do is to press the refresh and the power button right here. I'm not going to press that because doing this recording here. Okay. All right. Let me give you some bonus shortcuts that you could use. And that is how to zoom in and zoom out in a page. This can come in handy when, for example, you're browsing and the text is not really very big. Okay. This is Google homepage. Maybe the text is not very big. And how you do that to zoom in onto a page, just simply press control and then the plus icon right here, plus or minus, all right? So that increases the text in a page in a web browser in this case. And to zoom out, press control minus. I'm already doing it actually. Yes, so minus and plus. Even in a text editor like this one here, do exactly the same. Control plus increases, control minus reduces. All right. The next shortcut that I want to share with you is how to open the clipboard. And the way that you do that is press search V right here. And you can see the last thing that I copied is this text here in this text editor. Really helpful. All right. Then you can also toggle full screen mode I think I already demoed that, how to toggle full screen mode. And the way you do that is to press this key. Yes, that toggles full screen mode. And finally, my bonus tip is how to view all keyboard shortcuts. Now, I haven't covered all of them and I can't do that. But if you really want to view all keyboard shortcuts on your Chromebook, you can just press Ctrl, Alt, and forward slash brings you this window with all the keyboard shortcuts that I've talked about here and even more. So go ahead and uh, just explore, find out what really appeals to you. All right, guys, that sums up our video of my Chromebook shortcuts or my most frequently used shortcuts on my Chromebook. And if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, ring the bell icon so you get notified of future videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.